Hello everyone. This will be a quick tutorial for how to set up the new stats and check-in module for PFSense firewalls on PF Monitor. This new module will essentially capture the CPU usage, RAM usage, state table usage, load averages, um, CPU model and number of cores, and the serial number and host name and software version of your PFSense firewalls for easy reference inside PF Monitor, and also for tracking the status for updates and such. Let's get started, shall we? You'll notice in your PF Monitor dashboard there's a couple of new items here your cron job entry and your live statistics command URL. So, your first step is after locating those two items go to your firewall and go ahead and log into it. I've already done that here. Make sure that you are on version 232 release P1 or newer. This will not work for version 231. Uh, 232 or newer please. And otherwise you'll get crash reports for the module. It will not affect the firewall's operation but it will give you annoying messages. So make sure you're at least close to up to date being on 232 or higher. Step one would be just go to System, Package Manager, and Available Packages, and scroll down to the cron module, the cron package. If you already have it installed, great. Otherwise, go ahead and click Install and Confirm. It usually only takes about 10 seconds to install. Very small we're already done. Alright, next step, go over to Diagnostics and Command Prompt. So now we're going to go back to our dashboard for PF Monitor, and we're going to copy this fetch command from the live statistics line. We're going to go back to our firewall and paste that into the shell command box and hit Execute. The file will download nearly instantly, it's very small. Once that's complete, you're going to go over to Services and click on the Cron menu. And we're going to hit the Add button. Now for all these time entries, we want this script to be executed every 60 seconds. If you're familiar with Cron, you'll know that that means just put a star in all the time boxes. For the user, we want to execute as root. And now, if we go back to the PF Monitor dashboard, the command you need to paste in is already prepared for you. You just paste it into the command box and hit save. Now that will execute every 60 seconds, giving PF Monitor an update on the RAM usage, CPU usage, version numbers, etc so it'll be tracked in nearly real time. And if we go over to the new NOC dashboard that I'm putting together, you'll see that on the dashboard screen um, of your own PF monitor uh, probably by the end of the night. You'll see this new screen that's optimized to be put on a big screen TV or projector for Network Operations Center. You have now for that firewall your version numbers, your stats last check-in, which was two seconds ago according to this, your RAM usage, 7% of 2 gigabytes, your state table usage, which for that firewall is very small, and your load averages, and your uptime for that particular firewall. And obviously the, the green dot here shows that it's actually reporting in and within the last 120 seconds I believe it's set to right now. And I'm going to set this page to auto refresh probably every 30 seconds so you could throw this up on a nice big screen somewhere in your network operations center and I'm going to add a feature to it so any firewall that gets excessive load will pop to the top and turn red so that'll make it easy to see it so you don't have to scroll back and forth looking for trouble. Hope you guys enjoyed this new feature and this tutorial. 
see you guys later